he is not doing what I think he's doing. <laughs> what? I have never, ever seen this before in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, guys. We are finally here to the yeah. kickoff of season seven. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? What, right? What a wild ride it has been. We have been all <laughs> over the state, yes. 48. Yeah. We still have two to go. We're, yes. We're going to be taking you with us. Yes. We have been in fifth wheels, class C's, yep. you name it. We've done all kinds of crazy things. Yes. But that's not the question of the day. The question of the day is, yeah. where have we been for the past two months? Yep. I know everybody's like, what, do they just quit social media, go I buy know. a house and stop RVing? And we, we got all your sweet messages and thank you so much for reaching out and thank you for the concern. I, we tried to answer them as, as much as we could. Yep. <laughs> we made a conscious decision. We were asked if we could support the U.S. military, the men and women in uniform, uh -huh. uh, for a couple of months overseas, and we wholeheartedly say yes. yes. We knew it was going to be a struggle as a family. We knew we wouldn't be able to post on social media, yeah. but it's a small sacrifice for the things that we were able to contribute. Yes. We are thankful. We are honored. And you know what? Thank you guys for being patient with us. Yes. So we have big plans in store we're going to be going oh, yeah. from florida all the way to minnesota we're going to be having a lot of fun along the way wisconsin wisconsin we don't know when we get there if we're going left right but we're <laughs> going to take you along with us yes also as you guys know we bought a jeep yes right yes. bit bright orange gladiator i yeah. know you guys are tracking that we have a lot of things to reveal on it so yeah. more to come on that yeah. this video is about jeep beach and don't worry, we have a special secret. We invited one of our friends, and let's just say that once we get our friends together, they do crazy things. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Yeah. We, we have something in store for you probably you've never seen before. Yes. So we're excited about that. So you know what? As we always say, let's roll that beautiful music. <laughs> you never know until it happens. What is the only word that we can use to describe what just happened here? Epic. Epic. That's right. Well, good morning. Morning. Today is a day that we separate the forces. Yes. Again. Again. <laughs> one of us is headed to Jeep Beach and the other one is headed to the theme parks. Yes. We're going to SeaWorld. Sophia and I are going to SeaWorld uh, mm -hmm. meeting up with our school. And uh, yeah, Lee's gonna do uh, Daytona, and Emily's gonna help him. Yep. So basically, <laughs> we're mooch talking with our friends, and we're gonna be taking the rig to Jeep Beach. We're gonna be meeting up with some other people, and they're gonna go have a fun the whole day at SeaWorld. Yes. So it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm prepared for the roller coasters with my fanny pack, 80s style. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta, gotta represent. <laughs> You know what? So we're going to get started. We're going to finish cleaning up here and get on the way. Some of us are a little more excited than others. Yes. <laughs> Ready for SeaWorld? Yeah. What's, what's going to be your favorite ride? Oh, Manta. Oh, well, I think it's going to be the Kraken. The Kraken? Yeah. She, she says she won't ride it with me, so she, she has to. You ready to ride the Kraken? No. 
Yeah. I'm sure you are. I don't know how I feel about being not strapped in over on your chest and only slept in on your lap well, and you then going me. in hoops. I'm going to be a strap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about this. Bye. We're ready to go. Bye. See you later. I guess we'll meet up around 7 o'clock tonight. And I hope everything is already set up and dinner is cooked. <laughs> If that's not too much to ask. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>and the girls have headed out and I am here filling up propane because you don't head to Cheap Beach without filling out some propane. So discount propane here in DeBerry and I am a little bit early. So we're we'll waiting around. But you know what? Fill it up before you get there because it's going to be a little bit of chaos. What do you think, Tibbet? What do you think? You think it's good? Oh, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. He's just sitting down here having fun. We've been waiting a little bit longer. Got here a little bit too early. Should have checked when they open. It's not 7 a.m. So, oh well. We're chilling. We're in an RV. We can just chillax. It's a word. So, definitely fill up propane before you head to Jeep Beach because there's going to be grilling. There's going to be cooking. There's going to be, I mean, this thing runs on propane. It's actually very efficient. I did not realize how efficient it was. We haven't filled up propane in a hot minute. And I'm saying that truthfully, definitely a hot minute because I think it's been like a month and a half and this thing has been running the fridge, running everything. So it is very efficient, but we are pretty low. So I didn't even think about it. Pam and I were talking about it yesterday and I was like, we need propane. We probably need to do that before we go. So yeah. So we're gonna be meeting up with our friends, um, Rob and Steve. And you guys know Rob, the mayor of Camp Margaritaville. He's been in several of our videos. We're gonna meet up with him for Jeep Beach. He's bringing his entire entourage. Um, I guess we'll just be the caboose <laughs> in the back of the train because it's an impressive sight. But Jeeps, are the reason we're heading to Jeep Beach. So we have something special to show you guys. We have some information to share. Um, we're excited to share it because it'll be the first time we get to show you guys. We've been planning it for a while. So we're gonna be doing all kinds of different things. We're gonna be talking about uh, Jeep mods. We're gonna be going around the, the entire infield of Daytona, looking at all the different Jeeps, interviewing people. So we're gonna have a blast, but first, Gotta get some propane. And then we're heading that way. You smell it? So it's about 9.30, we're still waiting, having fun, chillaxing. But I was thinking, and I was like, something doesn't feel right. And you know, you gotta go with the gut. When something doesn't feel right, you know it's not right. You just don't know what it is yet. Your mind knows, but hasn't really connected. So I was like, hold on one second. We have the Jeep Beach package, right? Pay your fees, pay your dues. Uh, a couple weeks later, they send you this nice little packet in the mail. And I'm like, it's fantastic. See, the problem is we hadn't really opened it. So I opened it up and lo and behold, there's a problem. 
And that problem, I'll open it right now. Is that right there? That is the decal for the Jeep. Well, the Jeep doesn't have a decal. So the Jeep ain't getting in Jeep Beach because right now what's happening is Emily and I are taking the RV to Jeep Beach and we're gonna park it, set it up, get everything right, put, put some meat on the grill, get the smoker going. I mean, we're just gonna start the weekend, right? And have a great time. Pam and Sophia over at SeaWorld are probably riding Manta, having a blast. And I would too, if I was them. But the problem is we didn't put the decal in the Jeep before she went. So now we're gonna have to figure out, we're gonna be there, she's gonna come tonight. We're gonna have to take the decal over to her, put it in the Jeep, and then drive back in. So little, little complication, but I figured it out. I figured that something was off, I was right. We have the decal, so we will have to take that to her later. So anyway, so I am sure that we're gonna get a phone call any second now to join the train as the caboose. This is an honorary privilege for us. We are the caboose in this train. You'll see the train here in a second. So we will be on the lookout for the I-4 traffic at the truck stop eastbound and this is technically, it even says it, this is the last parking area on I-4. So how amazing is that? It's a privilege. This is a great day. All right, I'm excited. Sophia and I went on our first ride today, the Manta. And I tell you what, there was one moment where gravity kind of went away and you felt like you're floating and you know, in the air yeah. where my, my, my stomach dropped a little, but yeah. overall, my dropped the entire time. you know, I am afraid of heights. So I'm very proud of myself. We went in the front. <laughs> and we went in the, in the front. Oh it's my the gosh. Best. So yeah, so we did that. So I'm sure that uh, Lee, and Sof uh, Lee and Emily, not Lee and Sophia, <laughs> Lee and Emily are getting ready to get into Daytona yeah. and uh, they're going to have fun while we're doing this. So yeah, enjoying the day. So Steve and Rob are at the pump having fun. So we're gonna figure out what we can do. And I'm pretty sure we have plenty to do. So first I'm gonna get some food. Cause I don't know about you, I'm always hungry. I don't know what it is. Look at that salami. You're so crazy. Uh oh, where's your phone? Uh, it's dead. Your phone's dead? That's okay, we have a charger. Bring me your phone. We're actually gonna use a hotspot. I can figure all this out. We're gonna use a hotspot to power the TV. So, I don't really feel like doing Starlink right now, but I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure out some kind of a Whole position, something to. Starling. Yeah, something to use Starling easier. Because I don't have a ladder on the back of Minimus. There's no ladder. So I'm going to find some kind of a pole apparatus, something. Because this is just exhausting. But that's what phones are for. So I'm going to 
hot spot it. We are going to stream. Yeah. In comfort, in AC, with our feet kicked up because we're RVers. That's what we do. Everyone's like, why are you there so early? Where? <laughs> we're everywhere, aren't we? Uh huh. Silly girl, she has got her, she got her pillows and everything ready. Tidbits People relaxing. Are crazy. People are crazy, right? Silly girl. We're about to get on Infinity Falls and um, it's uh, the line is like an hour long so we've been in it for a while. We're so hot and we're about to get super soaked so we can't wait for that and we'll just worry about drying off later I guess. <laughs> yep. Are you excited? Yes. All right. <laughs> We are so close. <laughs> he is not doing what I think he's doing. <laughs> what? I have never, ever seen this before in my life. Yeah. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. Hold on one second. You have to see this. You're going the wrong way. You're recording it in reverse. Don't you? <laughs> Actually, I pulled in. It just looks like I backed in the rest area the wrong way. So, what prompted the reverse strategy? Uh, there's always room for improvement and training in your reverse skills. And I took that opportunity where I found there was no one exiting the rest area. So I said, well, let me pass it and then just back into it. So that's what I did. I have no words. I'm just glad y'all could see that. Training, <laughs> training, training. Train every every day is a training day. That's right. Where else can you back up 80 feet of RV in an awesome rest area and then come and see this? One? Yeah. What? You know what? What a way to start Jeep Beach 24. Yes, and here we go. The right way. North side of Orlando, the Lake Mary. Uh, rest area they renamed it it's the reverse back in rest area are you out of your meeting all right let's roll the funniest thing about this entire incident is that the mayor backs in 
the biggest HDT with his fifth wheel down that right there. But you can see right behind me, right here, that the Florida Highway Patrol just pulled someone over for doing the exact same thing. You know what? Hold on one second. What? I just want to point out, right over your shoulder, is some business going on. I know. They're coming over here to give me an award. An award? Yes. <laughs> they said they ain't never seen something so long back up so far and not go off the road or hit a sign or anything like that. So There is a Mazda SUV getting pulled over right now. <laughs> it couldn't be for what I did. I have no words. See, you started a trend. I did. Right? That's it. Don't follow trends. Now, see, this guy passing us, that guy right there, he's obviously going the right way. Yep. That is, that is priceless. Yeah. Opportunity. You know no what? No matter how you take it, grab it. Having fun, guys. So you guys seen it first. That is priceless. You know what? You can't script life. It just happens. You can't even make it up. I mean, the things that you experience in life, it's just, especially RVing, you see so much when you RV because you're just traveling all the time. But I have never, as long as I lived, have never seen an HDT back a fifth wheel backwards through a rust area. <laughs> I am speechless. I am laughing inside. I am giddy. That is hilarious. There's no one here. You know, it's the, the trucks are parked. They've been parked here for a while. There's really no one coming through, apparently. I don't, I don't know why. It's I-4 eastbound. I think everyone's already had their breaks in Orlando, so by the time they get to the I-4 eastbound rest area, there's really nothing happening here. But I tell you what, it is fantastic. I am ready for Jeep Beach. I am ready to see the sights. Right now, the plan is we've got uh, Steve and his wife, Laura. We've got Rob, and he's waiting on Nina, who had to uh, get some work done. So she's headed here. She's about five, 10 minutes out. Pam and Sophia are at SeaWorld, and me and Emily, well, we're sitting right here in Minimus, AKA the caboose, because the big rigs are gonna be in front. And we're gonna be following them. So long story short, what a way to travel. <laughs> All right, boss, what's the plan now? Well, the queen just arrived, so I'm sure we're gonna have to say our hellos. So then I'll pull out and lead, she's gonna follow behind me, and then Steve and Laura will follow behind Nina, and then you, sir, if you don't mind, bring up the caboose. The caboose. Oh, yeah. And there's Nina. What up, girl? I already changed now that my work is higher and into Man. my Jeep is higher. Well, it looks like we have almost the whole gang together. Almost. We're just waiting on Pam and Sophia who are at SeaWorld. Oh. Well, yep. Dang, I should have went there. I know, right? <laughs> so, Thank you. You ready to go to the beach? Well, we are here, staged right behind me. You can see we are pulling in camping registration here at Jeep Beach. RVing is slow, methodical, and fun. 
So we're in no hurry, just inching forward. Glad to be here. Let the festivities begin. This is day one, essentially. So there's really not much going on except get your spot, get settled in, get the grills going, socialize, and just relax the night away. So in the infield. So that's what we're doing now. You can see right here, they're all, we're all lined up. Emily's in the back, she's chilling, buckled in, having fun. I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little thirsty and a little hungry. I think we traveled 45 minutes. It's exhausting, I tell you. RVing, man. Card or you have cash? Uh, card. Okay, you're gonna have to come back because we don't have any cards. Okay, don't worry. Um, you're not doing the like, You'll be in this area here, or this area here. Yeah, okay. You're gonna be here in these spots here. You can park your stuff all right across the road. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So we just got done with the registration. We are ready to go. All three of us are right next to each other, which is fantastic because that never happens. So we're going to go ahead and get the train moving, get it set up. Go ahead and hop in. All right. All right, go get buckled in. Oh yeah, started good, ready to go. I mean, I'm telling you, that never happens. Get here early, that's the thing. Get here on Friday, you know, afternoon, get here early, get the registration done, especially when you got a lot of large entourage. I'm excited, it's because I'm hungry. That's what I am. I hope the girls are having fun. Driver a little forward. We're trying to make it. All the way passenger. All the way, all the way, all the way. Okay. Come on back and. I think we're in that. Come on back. Come on back. And you got it right there. Stop, stop, stop. Perfect. Good job. Done. Done. Good job, baby. Bye. Bye. Look at you, Miss Thing. I'd rather do this than tell him what to do. You did a great job. That's fantastic. What up, what up? Aww. Like it, bro. Good job. You should hurry. 